Welcome back everyone. A summer means plenty of play time for kids and not a lot of structure. You know, as it should, but that can make for a rude awakening when the new school year rolls around. But as Gunderson Health Systems, Carrie Zimmerman is here to tell us, doesn't have to be a rude awakening, so to speak. Carrie, uh, we know a morning routine, of course, is important once you get back into that back to school schedule. But I like this. How about a night before routine? Yes, absolutely. So establishing a nighttime routine, a morning routine, laying out your clothes the night before, and only doing what's important in the morning, doing all those important things at night. And, you know, again, you know, it's summer, kids are staying up late and things like that. Yeah. You know, how long before school starts should parents try to get their kids back into a school mode or a routine? Yeah, so right now would be a great time to start getting those kids ready for bed a little bit earlier, um, weaning them back into that nighttime routine so they're not staying up late, getting up late. They're getting back into that routine where they can get up on time for school in the mornings. So I, I, I like uh, that idea, you know, maybe if they haven't started today, you know, if the kids are going back to school next week, you know, they still have a little bit of time to get that uh, routine started. Uh, but I, I like this as well. Uh, you, you provided us with some tips. Uh, one of the things, parents as a role model setting the tone for the morning, how important is that? That's so important. So waking your kids up with a smile, not grumpy getting up in the morning not wanting to get up um making sure you're setting that positive vibe for the day so that your kids will model your behavior and follow that behavior that you're modeling yeah that may be i think that may be easier said than done for a lot yes. of us uh, carrie uh but uh, when it comes to uh you know having everything ready to go uh what do you recommend for uh, maybe like uh streamlining that morning routine yeah, so making sure that you have an area where you're keeping those backpacks, keys, cell phones, all those type of things, so you're not running around in the morning trying to find where those things are. Um, packing your lunch the night before, having that lunch money ready to go, making sure that you have options for breakfast, just so that your mornings are less hectic and more streamlined, so that you're not running around the house like crazy in the morning trying to get out the door. And, you know, as, as far as like, you know, kids watching TV and staying up late, oh, would yeah. you say like limiting uh, screen time would be something good for parents to do for their kids? Yes, absolutely. So limiting screen time is always a good thing, especially when we're going back to school, making sure those kids aren't up late at night watching TV or on cell phones or on their computers. Um, you know, that blue light isn't good for sleep either. Um, so making sure that you're shutting off electronics about an hour before bedtime, starting to wind down, get the kids ready for bed so that they're able to get back into that routine and get up in the morning ready to learn. Certainly some good things to know for parents and kids alike. Carrie, we thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you. Uh, it's now about 10 minutes before 7 o'clock. Time for your morning spark. Some little ways that uh, you can spark big thoughts for your little ones. And this morning's challenge is simply ask your child to tell you a funny story or a joke. And it helps build brains by building language skills. Listening intently while your child talks also lets them know impor how important they are to you. And we'll be right back with a check of your bus stop forecast next.